Hi friends, welcome to yet another video series of Mains Made Simple. This time, I have came with a new interesting topic connecting Dhoni and an important ethical concept called emotional intelligence. With no further delay, let's go into the video. You guys may be cricketing or non-cricketing fans, but surely would have heard about the enigma called Dhoni. In his 16 years old international career, all along, you can almost picture Dhoni gently uprooting a souvenir stem after a lost ball win with no leaps of joy, walking off ground like a banker from his desk after shutting down the computer at close of business. Not since Stephen Hawkins has anyone touched the time quite like Dhoni when he is in Greece. If you followed sports column in news, recently there was IPL retentions. In this, Chennai Super Kings franchise retained Dhoni in second position after Jadeja with advice and approval of MS Dhoni. This move has been lauded by many experts as an act of leadership where Dhoni setting aside his ego and putting team's future and love for the game up front. This act can be example for not having ethical egoism. The ethical egoism is defined as normative theory that promotion of one's own good in accordance with morality. Before we analyze Dhoni and emotional intelligence, we will see about what is emotional intelligence. This is the ability to understand and manage one's own emotion and those of people around you. And like any other skills, emotional intelligence can be consciously cultivated to create space where more people can be productive as their emotions will not rule over their reactions. The higher the emotional intelligence, the more cooperation can be posted. A leader must have the ability to process emotion to make sound decisions. According to American psychologist Daniel Coleman, there are five main elements of emotional intelligence. Self-awareness, self-regulation, motivation, empathy, and social skills. The better you as a leader manage each of these areas, the higher your emotional intelligence. Now, we will analyze these five elements of emotional intelligence and how well Dhoni has managed to handle it. First element, self-awareness. Is Dhoni self-aware? Extremely. You have to be aware of your strength and weaknesses to catapult yourself from a small town to reach captain of Indian cricket team. Dhoni's ability to insulate himself and his team from external influence in order to focus on game is one of his biggest strengths. Speaking about CSK's redemption, Badan, former Indian cricketer, said MS Dhoni is aware that he is not at his own peak, a prime example of self-awareness. Second element is self-regulation. Leaders who regulate themselves effectively rarely verbally attack others, make rushed or emotional decisions, stereotype people or compromise their values. Self-regulation in one sentence is staying in control, which all sums up MS Dhoni. This element of emotional intelligence, according to Coleman, also covers a leader's flexibility and commitment to personal accountability. Dhoni equally calm in success and failure. A self-regulated leader doesn't believe in dwelling in past or living in future. Rather, lives is or her best in the present. They adapt at handling criticism and praise at the equal level. They are accountable, accepts and owns up to their mistakes publicly. The third important element in emotional intelligence is motivation. A self-motivated leader works consistently towards its goal as extremely high standard for works. Here, motivation as an intrinsic value comes from within. Dhoni's motivation comes from the love of game. He competes with only himself and none other. The fourth most important element of emotional intelligence is empathy. Leaders with empathy have the ability to put themselves in someone else's situation. 
they help develop the people on their team challenge others when they are acting unfairly give constructive feedback and listen to those who need it many still old dear memories of watching dhoni letting ganguly captain the side for little during the ganguly's last test match and dhoni was also very sympathetic to bad performers and support players through their ups and downs the last and the important element in emotional intelligence is social skills leaders who do well in social skill element of emotional intelligence are great communicators leaders who have good social skills are also good in managing change and resolving conflict diplomatically they set an example with their own behavior since he became captain dhoni has used his networking and social skills to garner respect from his team members seniors and juniors alike he gives and gets the respect when it comes to emotion dhoni is the master in controlling it if emotion is an art dhoni is because of it when asked about emotion dhoni replied that he feels as strong as anyone else just that he is good at controlling the negative ones a lot better than most he also said he goes through the entire gamut of emotion at every trump and debacle and the overall leadership and ethical skills which one can learn from ms dhoni are being uninhibited and confidence managing their own egos handling success and failure alike trusting your instinct staying calm under pressure versatility and staying focused as an aspirant you can learn a lot from ms dhoni which is staying in the present trusting the process dhoni asserted that the process is more important than the result in this sense he is a deontologist like gandhi or kant dhoni when speaks about how he handles adversity says though he being frustrated disappointed angry at times he reminds himself that none is constructive and focused on how to channelize them effectively i know that every aspirant can feel the same adversities in life but those who channelize these emotions constructively master them which is an important lesson to learn from our tala players may come and go but their imprint in game will always be there some special players like dhoni make their imprints not only in game but also in people's mind more than a player or a captain he will always be remembered as a good person hope you have enjoyed the presentation about emotional intelligence through the actions of ms dhoni kindly keep supporting us through your views comments and shares until next time this is d kishore kumar from sadi kayes academy signing off be happy stay healthy thank you we are going to see about indian temple art and architecture there's a brief introduction about hindu temple art and architecture from gupta period onwards 